President Rodrigo Duterte flip-flopped on his view of former Nazi leader Adolf Hitler. Duterte even claimed that his daughter, Sarah, is a descendant of the Jews who fled Europe during the Holocaust. Maricel, tells, Maricel Halili tells us more from Israel. Two years ago, President Duterte likened himself to Adolf Hitler. Hitler massacred three million Jews. Now, there is three million, there's a three million drug addict. There are. I'd be happy to slaughter him. Now, Duterte has made a complete turnaround. During his visit to Yad Vashem Holocaust Memorial Center on Monday afternoon, the president acknowledged the brutal and cruel journey of Israelites during the Holocaust. I could not imagine of a country obeying an insane leader. And I could not ever fathom the spectacle of a human being going into a killing spree, murdering old men, women, men, children, mothers. The president said that history has taught us well not to let this incident happen again. There is always a lesson to be learned, and that despots and uh, leaders who show insanity should uh, be, well, they should be disposed of at the first instance. Presidential daughter Mayor Sara Duterte joined the president in his visit. Duterte said his daughter is a descendant of Zimmerman, a family of refugees who escaped Europe during the Holocaust. Uh, there was a time when we welcomed Jews in the Philippines to provide them the country of the And uh, I, do, I, I cannot speak for my daughter about the Philippines now. She's one of those uh, uh, generations that came after. Prior to this, President Duterte met Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for the first time. They both witnessed the signing of three agreements between the two countries. This includes the MOA on the temporary employment of home-based Filipino caregivers. Netanyahu said that the Filipina took care of his father before he died at the age of 102. I, like many, many Israeli families, am deeply moved by this uh, show of humanity. And today we're going to sign an agreement that will knock off as much as $12,000 of the cost of every caregiver. In return, President Duterte thanked the Israeli government for treating Filipino workers very well. I have heard that they have been treated as uh, human beings. Unlike in other places, which I am not definitely to mention now. On Tuesday morning, President Duterte is scheduled to meet with Israel President Reuven Rivlin. In the afternoon, he will address the business community in Israel before witnessing the disaster response and rehabilitation presentation and viewing of equipment. For News 5, Maris El Halili, we are One News.